had intelligence before that these people said they were going to kill my security aid and then capture me alive and give me gradual killing. But like I always say, my life is in the hands of God. It's not in the hands of any Fulani man or anybody whatsoever. And I still remain firm. I will fight for truth, justice, equity, and fairness till when God permits that I should not be here again. Then I can go. But it's only God that can permit my existence on this earth. Not any Fulani man, I want to say boldly. They have no right. They will continue to fail just like they did today. I appreciate the security personnel attached to me. They were able to repair them and uh, they could not have access to me. And thank God for my fitness to have run for more than one and a half kilometers without stopping. It means that uh, God has given me strength and I'm grateful to God. I'm not going to subject myself to intimidation of any one whatsoever. I don't have problems with any Fulani man or Fulani race, but I have problems with Fulani bandits who have vowed to take over Nigeria as their ancestral home. And I say no. Not when I'm here and when I am governor leading my state. I'm not concerned about other states. Other states who want to give their land and give their, themselves to be slaves to these Fulani men are have no problem with them. But my own state, I have consulted with my people, and what I am doing is in line with the wish of my people. On that I stand. I have not infringed on anybody's right. My lawyer is here. He's going to extend a petition against the leadership of uh, Fulani Hellsmen, or whatever you call them, Meyati Allah. Because they came out to target me, and behind the scene, they have planned to eliminate me. And I'm seeing that on my own land. If I can't go to the farm as governor with the entire security around me, then who else can go to farm? You can imagine the pains that we have here in Benue State. Thank God for Mr. President who responded to my letter that anyone with AK-47 should be shot, shot at sight. I'm yet to see that. Let me see it happening in Benway State. I have reported this to the security agencies, and I hope that this will be done. I don't know what this set of Fulani men who come from Niger, from Mali, from Chad, from Senegal, from uh, other parts of the world, they have destroyed Mali completely. Nothing is happening there. They have destroyed Libya. They have destroyed several African countries with their aggression and think that they will come here and destroy Nigeria. I don't know what they mean. We are not against Fulani people who legitimately want to do their business here, including Katu Riyadin. But you must ranch. That is the law. And we are in a democratic era. And democracy is anchored on the rule of law. I don't know why people will come from somewhere and think that they will not obey the laws of the land. If everybody will take that. If all of us decide to be lawless. If all of us decide to take guns and go after people or our perceived enemies. There will be lawlessness. There will be anarchy. And who knows what will happen. I want to call on Mr. President. I want to call on the security agencies to fish these people out. They are in the forest between Makudi and Abinti. They are living there and they are coming out to commit atrocities, evil, rape women, kill our people, mayhem them, destroy our farmlands, and do all this. And any time our lives of God go after them and security agencies go. They run back to the 
forest across the river. These people are protected by our Nigerian security men, our taxpayers' money, our security men that are inadequate because of the crisis caused by this Mayati Allah. And the police are still protecting them. What is the reason? Are we second class citizens? I'm not second class citizen to anyone in this country. I pay tax just like any other person, and I'm law abiding. And I hope that the security agencies will question these people why they should single me out in their EULA meeting and behind the scene giving orders for me to be eliminated. And I have seen the result today. I remain a solution to the problem that has bedeviled this country as far as herdsmen and farmers' crisis is concerned. Since 2016, I've been propagating ranching as the global best practice. And that is where we are today. Pessimism and skeptics who never accepted it. Today they are accepting it. People who came out openly and attacked me. Today they have laid the same bill to their houses of assembly to have ranches all over the place. And that is the only solution. So why have I become a problem? By finding a solution to a problem that is existing and Government is not able to come out to make pronouncement or legislate to ensure that we all live in peace. How am I a problem? Let them come and tell the whole world. Let them tell me. And I have always said that, look, if you disagree with me, tell me the other option that is superior to the one that I have brought on the table. Up to today, nobody has said it. I challenge all Nigerians. I challenge all Fulani men who are against me. I challenge Nigerians who are against me. Come out and tell me if there is another solution to ensure peace for farmers and herdsmen, and not just farmers and herdsmen, and the people. Tell me. So that we, if it is superior to providing ranching for cattle rearing, then we can follow you. But it is clear to me that the issue of herdsmen in Nigeria, especially the full animal, it is just a camouflage. The agenda is to take over the land. And they have said it. I'm quoting them. It is in the media. They have said Nigeria is the only country that belongs to them. They will take over and everybody will be slaves. And I won't be a slave to any full animal. That is the point. Count me out. And the tea people, the Benue people will not be slaves. And we're not going to uh, catch other people to be slaves to us. Live and let's live. Democracy, freedom for everybody. Everybody should be free to express himself, to associate with everybody and do your business. That is all. I don't know why. And I want to commend my colleague in uh, Ekiti State, who came out yesterday clearly as the chairman of our governor's forum to say that this government have failed. It's not about APC or PDP or anything. This is not politics. My respect to my chairman, governor's forum. That is the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And so for him as an APC member to come out and say this because if it were another governor from another party or myself coming, they would say we are playing politics. But fire me came out clearly and said that this government has failed. Providing security, this need. Everybody is running all over the place. Traditional rulers, governors, politicians. If I'm not safe in my own state, then who else is safe in Benue State? That is the question I'm asking.